Assalamu alaikum students, I hope you all are perfectly fine. Today we are starting our grammar and composition and you already know that we have covered our first lesson of Nelson English and uh, today our first lecture from grammar and composition is parts of speech. Parts of speech you have uh, already been doing in your previous or earlier classes. You have already an idea what parts of speech are. In today's lecture, I am going to give you a brief lecture on it. And uh, first of all, you must understand what parts of speech are. Actually, you can see that uh, speech. What is speech? Actually, it is a way to communicate. Now, we live in a society and in a society, we are social animals and we have to communicate uh, to others uh, the way we want to talk to others and uh, for this we have to vocalize and this is called speech and we can disintegrate the parts of speech into its its smaller pieces so these are called parts of speeches in english linguistics there are nine parts of speeches as you can see noun pronoun verb adverb adjective proposition conjunction interjection and article these are nine parts of speech we are going to discuss today and uh, this is uh, your vn of parts of speech and i'm going to give you uh, some examples as well and i hope you will understand it clearly first of all we will talk about our very first parts of speech and that is noun Noun is actually a naming word. Uh, we can name a person, animal, place, thing, substance, quality, and idea. So all these groups or classes or a set of class can come into this category noun. Noun is the part of speech. So the examples are you can name any person animal, place, thing, substance, quality, and idea. And there are some kinds of nouns as well. Common noun, proper noun, concrete noun, abstract noun, collective noun. So these are the examples of noun. A second part of speech is pronoun. You can see that I have uh, divided this word into two parts, pro and noun. Actually, a word that substitutes or takes place of a noun is called a pronoun. Uh, if you see the examples, Sara, I have written a paragraph here. Sara is a good girl. Sara obeys everyone. Sara does all the chores herself. Sara's work is quite difficult. So you see that this looks quite monotonous and boring. So if I replace Sara's with pronoun what it would be like sarah is a good girl she obeys everyone she does all the chores herself sarah's work is quite difficult her work is quite difficult so you see that i have replaced sarah with some pronouns she and her i have written here seven pronouns that are in our linguistics i i is the first person we we is also the first person so i and we are the first person pronouns you you is the second person pronoun he she it and they are the third person pronoun so there are total seven pronouns one two three four five six and seven so these are all pronouns pronoun is the word that substitutes a noun or replaces a noun that is called a pronoun okay the next part of speech is verb verb is actually an action word it is an occurrence or state of something like um, in every almost every sentence has a verb in it and the verb actually tells us what subject is doing a verb is an action word you can see that sara is making something so what is sara sara is subject what is subject doing subject is doing it's making so make is the verb so there are three form of verbs first form second form and third form verb can be transitive verb and intransitive verbs as well so verb is an action word that tells us about the subject what sub subject is doing like if i say play sing eat speak say anything that is being done a state occurrence or an action is called the verb next comes in parts of speech adverb 
I have again divided adverb into two parts. Adverb. It means that it is adding something in the meaning of verb. Okay. Adverb can add the meaning of an adjective, a verb, or of an adverb as well. So, adverb is a word which adds the meaning of an adjective, verb, and of an adverb itself. Adverb. can tells us the relation of place time manner degree and frequency so these are the types of adverbs as well adverb of place adverb of time adverb of manner degree and frequency I, here i have written some examples you can see he does his work honestly like if i say he does his work here the sentence ends he does his work but if i'm telling how does he does his work wo apna kaam kaise karta hai so if i say that he does his work honestly so honestly is an adverb honestly is telling us how does he does his work does his verb here and honestly is adding in the meaning of verb so adverb here is honestly in second example you can see he is very intelligent intelligent you know that intelligent is an adjective it is telling us the quality of pronoun here the noun adjective so if i say he is very intelligent so it very is an adverb here and very is adding the meaning of an adjective okay here is the third example he does his work quite honestly so if i say he does his work honestly like in the in this example so it honestly is an adverb but if i want to add in the meaning of adverb so i would write he does his work quite honestly means quite is adverb here and here it is adding the meaning of an already verb so adverb is a word which adds in the meaning of an adverb verb or adjective Here is the next part of speech, and that is adjective. Adjective is actually a word which modifies a noun or which tells us the quality of a noun. Like if I say it can express uh, how that noun is. She is so pretty. Pretty here is connecting or telling us the idea about she or pronoun or noun. She is so pretty. Pretty means it's an adjective. Aslan is an honest boy. So Aslan is an honest boy. It is telling us the quality of the noun honest. Pretty, honest, beautiful, handsome, uh, ugly. These are all the qualities of the noun. So this is adjective. Adjective is a word which modifies a noun. In today's lecture, we have discussed not all the parts of speech, but half of the parts of speech noun pronoun verb adverb and adjective and the rest of the parts of speech i'm going to discuss in the next lecture okay see you in the next lecture thank you allah hafiz